Since we're going to be using MongoDB as our database of choice, we're going to go ahead and go online and we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a free instance of MongoDB. There's a, good, a website called mlab.com and they allow you to host a free Mongo instance that's under 500 megabytes. So let's go ahead and navigate there now. Uh, and you're going to see the front page here, database as a service for MongoDB. Uh, they'll give you an explanation, documentation, plans and pricing. You don't got to worry about any of this. Just let's go ahead and sign up. So enter your uh, email, your name and the password you want to go with, and I'll meet you on the next screen. So once you sign up, you should get to this screen right here. And we're obviously going to take the starting at free and create a cluster. So AWS, Google Cloud Platform and Azure are our hosts. And you can select a region. I'm pretty sure um, North Virginia is fine unless you're watching from Europe or Asia, just whichever one is the closest to you. I'm just going to pick AWS because it's easy. We're going to pick the free tier. Uh, no additional settings. Cluster name. You can name this whatever you want. I would probably name this the name of your game. I'm just going to call this tutorial and create the cluster. So what it's doing right now is it's creating the MongoDB instance for me. So you can see here it's going to say your cluster is being created. New clusters take between uh, one and three minutes to provision. Sometimes it's faster. Sometimes it's slower. So I'm going to go ahead and let this start up uh, and you should do the same. And once it's done uh, creating the database for you, we can go ahead and jump into the next screen. Okay, guys, once your sandbox is ready, all we have to do is two things. Create a user and add the IP you're currently working with to your whitelist access. So first, we can just go to network access. We can add an IP address. Um, you can click this button right here, add your current IP address and whatever this shows up for you is the current IP you're using now, or you can do allow access from anywhere. And then you can just say entry from anywhere. We're going to go ahead and confirm that. So now you can access this database from any IP you want. I don't recommend this. I recommend using a strict access policy, obviously wherever the API is going to be. <clears throat> that's the only place you're going to want uh, access to the database from anywhere else. It should be completely restricted. That's just for basic security purposes. And then for database access, simply create a new username. I'm just going to call it tutorial. I'm going to say tutorial. I'm just going to show you that so you can see here, read and write, to, read and write to a new database, add user. And just like that, your database is ready to go. So if I go to cluster here, um, I just want to see if there's a way for it to give you the uh, Mongo URL to use to connect to it. So give me a second here and I'm going to look for that. Okay, so connect is probably what we have to do. We're going to say connection method connect with your application. Okay, perfect. So here is the Mongo string. Basically what we're going to do uh, when we're in our project is we're going to copy that string. We're going to break it up. We're going to add it to our configuration and then we're going to connect. So Thanks for tuning back in. That's all for creating a Mongo database. It's ready to go. Now we can go back to the application and start plugging it in. All right. Thanks a lot, guys.